Now once you've got your GUI designed, we'll now look at how we can allocate commands to the button. So when the customer pushes the button, what they're going to do. Let's, this example here, we've got the TV remote control open. So let's have a look at the IR devices, um, which we've got living room TV that we want to control with this GUI page. Let's open the commands up and we see all the IR commands for this device. Now it's just a matter of drag and dropping the command that you want to do directly onto the page. For example, channel up, we can drag onto the channel up button. Channel down, drag and drop onto there. Now you notice that there's three boxes on each button. And as we drag and drop onto the button, like we have with the channel, you notice a little P command comes up. And what the P represents in the first box is that that button has got something programmed to it, so when the button is pushed, P for pushed, that that button is allocated to something. You notice the ones, for example, TV Guide don't have anything. If we want to know what is assigned to that button, I can right mouse click on it and have a look at properties. And in the properties for this example, it says on push of the button, we're sending an IR command, living room TV, channel up, and a single press. And of course, I can go and change the command directly from the command here, or if I cancel out of that, let's have a look for example the TV guide. I can right mouse click on TV guide, instead of dragging and dropping, I can do it manually from here. On press of the button, let's go to IR command, living room TV, we go down here to we find the guide, single press, and you notice we've got the P up there. So these will work for a single press of the button. Let's have a look at other things such as volume. Let's move volume up onto the volume up button, volume down onto the volume down. Now in this example here, with volume, I don't want to have to keep pressing the volume button at a single press. We open up the commands for the volume. We notice currently it's set on press of the button, send the IR command volume up as a single press. Now we've also got a command here, repeat press action while held. If I was to push this button um, or select this option on, what that does, it will continuously send a volume up while the button is held. When I remove the button, the finger from the button, it then stops sending that continuous. So it's a great way for volume, for example, to continuously um, slide that volume up. If I hit OK now, you'll notice that instead of a white background like we have on other buttons, the volume up that we just programmed has now got a green background. And what that green background represents is that it has got a continuous pulse assigned to it. So again, at a glance, rather than having to go into each button, we can see what's assigned to it. Now, that's great. We can drag and drop for every button, as I said, like for example, channel 7 across to channel 7. Now, even though this is the TV remote, we can still have buttons on this page, on the GUI page, to control other devices. We have a look at this example. On our TV remote, we've got some commands here for play, rewinds, record, etc. Now, they might be buttons that are not going to control the TV, but instead they're going to control the Blu-ray player. So I can go along here, minimise my living room TV IRs, Let's move down to the Blu-ray player that we added earlier. And then we can get all the commands here. So I can just drag and drop commands, play, stop, pause, etc. So what we've got on the one GUI page is we've got some buttons that are controlling the TV and some buttons that are controlling the Blu-ray player. So it's a good way of mixing and matching to design it to make it simple for the customer to use the, um, the GUI that you've designed. Now the other thing we may want to do is we want to assign some buttons to jump to navigate to a different page. Let's minimise our Blu-ray remote for a moment. And we've got all our other pages down the bottom, all the other GUI pages that we've developed. Now, we've also got some buttons on this um, GUI layout that I've got, going to Foxtel or my cable or satellite receiver, my Blu-ray player, my Apple TV, TiVo, etc. So if I want to use those as buttons 
to jump to another page, um, I can certainly do that. And to do that, I can create a navigation page for these buttons. Let's have a look, for example, my TiVo button. I can get TiVo, drag it onto that button, and you notice we've got an N in the third box. And the N means it's programmed to navigate to a different page. And if I look into the properties of that, I can see that there's no IR or no command down the bottom that's going to do it. We're going to go to, it's going to navigate to a different page. And if I want to change that, if I've pushed the wrong navigation page for whatever reason, of course I can change it in here or drag and drop it again. So yes, it's going to that page. Hit OK. So rather than, say, turning the volume up, channel up and down, bringing the guide up as we would normally do, this one, when I push that button, it's going to navigate to another page. So it makes it easy for the customer to jump around and, design, again, design the GUI however you wanted it to be. Now, the other thing we're doing with when we're designing GUIs, we may want pages to be consistent. For example, on the TV page here, we've got volume up, volume down, mute, and the power button for the TV and that might be constant for a lot of pages that we're doing. So what we can do, let's finish designing or assigning buttons to those. We've got volume up, volume down. I'll go to volume down and hit continuous. Okay. I can go to my um, toggle power button for example. Toggle power and my mute button. So we've programmed these four buttons, but I might want all those four buttons on every page. So if I've got TiVo, I've got my cable TV, still want to be able to control the TV and the volume, and I, if I want those on each page, I can easily highlight those, drag and drop around them. We've got all four buttons highlighted. I can hit Control C, which is a standard copy. Control C. Close that page minimize this and let's open for example TiVo. So let's open the GUI for my TiVo GUI. We'll minimize this and bring it down the bottom. So I want one in the same spot, I want to put those TV controls for the um, on the TiVo page as well. So what I can do if I go control V, it will paste them and put them in exactly the same spot as where they were on the other page. So it's a nice easy way of using control C to copy and control V to paste and that will put them in exactly the same page. And then I can make some slight adjustments as where I want to put them. So when the customer is jumping from page to page, those controls are in exactly the same spot each time. Now the other thing you can do, if I just want to, the difference between if I right mouse click and paste items in here, what happens is if I highlight a page and hit control C, when I use control V and paste it, it'll paste it in exactly the same spot as I just mentioned before. However, if I use the paste items, where I've clicked, right mouse clicked and hit paste items, it's going to paste it into that spot where I've put it there. So that's a slight difference between using control V to paste and right mouse clicking and hitting paste items. So it's useful for using both ways. Let me get rid of that because I've already got on that page. So that's just a handy hint for using control V rather than right mouse click and pasting the items on there. Now another very powerful and easy to use function with built inside the Genie, the project editor, is assigning multiple commands to the GUI pages rather than having to do it one at a time. Now as we saw before, by adding we can drag and drop, we put the channel 7 across the channel 7, channel 9 across the channel 9, and yes it is easy to drag and drop, but let's look at a nice easier way. Let me hit cancel there for a moment, minimize my remote control. Now what I can do is I can get all the commands from the living room TV and drag and drop it onto the actual GUI page. So if I get the command, the living room TV, drag and drop it onto that page, we can populate 
all we click all here and we'll populate all buttons so when I do that we've just populated 20 buttons in one action and if we open the GUI page up we'll see that there's multiple paid buttons have been allocated in one drag and the drop now how we do that is using what we call command tags for example let me have a look at channel 9 here which doesn't have a command tag because it didn't populate that button so if I was to go to properties on here there's a command here called command tags so what I can do I can allocate that button as command tag for digit 9 if we do another one for example um, let's allocate channel 1 on 1 HD we'll put a command tag for digit 1 now you notice when putting those command tags there we haven't actually allocated a command to that button as yet all we've done is set it up um, and then now we can drag and drop and it will populate that so whenever you're doing your GUI layouts it's handy to put as many command tags on those buttons as you can and if we look at what those command tags are maybe for channel 2 in those command tags you'll see it's a lot of the most popular used buttons around whether they be inputs HDMI's favorite channels menus up and down um, digits volume up and down etc so let's assign digit 2 to that one so we've just added three more command tags or three more buttons with command tags let me save that by hitting OK now when I get my living room TV drag it onto the free to air and we select all where we populated 20 before we now populated 23 we open the page up and we can see we've now populated the extra ones that we had there as well so it's a very handy device or handy um, process to do of using command tags for pages now also in addition to dragging the commands and command tag onto a particular page by page we can also do that by dragging them onto the GUI group for example where we saw before where we changed the volume up volume down power and we might want to put that on multiple pages I can now grab the living room TV because that's going to be common on every page for example or the ones that it are is common to instead of dragging it to the actual page we're now going to can drag it to the group itself and instead of selecting all I'm just going to put the power and volume on and hit OK and we're populated 71 buttons or through the whole GUI group so again it's a nice quick way of putting all the common buttons and command tags right through the whole group of um, the project of the of all the GUI pages so it makes it nice and simple and quick to implement